Hello, Charles Ford here. Um, today I wanted to do a quick video about making chimney sweep brooms for Mary Poppins. Um, when we did Mary Poppins, I did some research and real chimney sweep brooms are not only really expensive, but also dangerous. They're uh, metal and uh, with chimney sweeps dancing madly around, uh, the chance of whacking somebody with one of those is extremely high. So, uh, then I checked with all kinds of costume shops and the consensus was is that if uh, you buy those, most people said that they didn't even last a Halloween party, that they were very poorly put together. They are really just for looking at for a short time, not for any kind of violent action. So, what to do? So, the answer was is to use the uh, polypropylene um, bristles out of a broom. So the first step is uh, I use underlayment, five millimeter underlayment, and um, I cut out discs like this, three of them to each of the brooms. I cut them out with a hole saw and a hole saw, the one I use looks like that okay um, i use a drill press i've i've used hole saws before with a handheld drill but it's a little spooky uh, there's a lot of torque there they want to get out of control and uh, i don't know it's just i i have to find it really scary these are the brooms i use um there you go they're available from a uh, different um like uh, supplies for industrial supply and that kind of thing. You can see that there's several there. Um, one broom like this, I think it's, it's, yeah, it's called a lobby broom. One broom like this will make two chimney sweep uh, brooms. Um, I don't use the handles on it. Um, I guess, you know, that's actually very possible. Um, what I use is... Um, metal conduit because I knew my choreographer was going to be going crazy and the idea of the wood breaking or uh, um, you know where it's attached snapping off and things like that um, as it was uh, the uh, the dancing and it was so crazy that uh, they actually bent these we had to straighten them but this is just metal conduit here and um, you could use PVC pipe if you wanted to on it, uh, which is also, it's pretty tough and easy to drill into. But wood, um, unless your chimney sweeps are not going to be very uh, uh, active with it, I would definitely not do that. So what I do is there's uh, three discs for each one. You can see... Is that very good? I don't know. Oh. Well, yeah, all these kind of have kind of have uh, gorilla glue on top. But here's one right here, um, and so you make a sandwich. Um, I use a five sixteenth rod, and then cut it and put a bolt on it. Uh, put it through the first disc upside down, and then. Uh, spray the disc with water and then put a bead of Gorilla Glue all the way around the disc. Lay on half of the bristles I'm going to use on that one. And then uh, take the second disc, spray it with water. I put a little Gorilla Glue on it as well and then put it over the top of, of that, making a sandwich. Then uh, on the top of that I spray it again with water, Gorilla Glue, second layer of bristles, and um, then the final, the third disc on top right there and uh, put a, the nut on it. And I, I hold uh, the rod with a vice grips and then I can take uh, a wrench and tighten that down nice and tight uh, to squish it all together. Gorilla Glue, if you've used it before, you know it, it uh, expands out. And like this one, it's really crazy. There's how much Gorilla Glue is... Uh, has expanded out of this one, but the great thing is, I mean, you can trim it off real easily and then uh, spray paint the whole thing black and so it's all hidden. 
Um, but uh, the great thing is, is it embeds, if you can see it, embeds those bristles in there. And um, I found that the, the first two rehearsals, bristles fell out. And then I just hot glued them, uh, you know, back on to the, the main part there. Um, but after two rehearsals, I thought we'd be sweeping them up off the stage every night. And that just did not happen. So um, it actually turned out working out uh, very well. Um, and, oh, oh, so uh, for at <clears throat> attaching it into the pipe, I use one inch uh, self-tapping um, hex screws. They look like that. Um, I like them because they're self-tapping, so if you use it in metal, the end of that is actually kind of a drill bit, and it will, um, where's it going to focus? There we go, okay. And it actually drills itself in. It also taps itself into plastic. If you don't crank it, you know, over crank it, it'll um, basically tap itself into the plastic pipe and make a really nice tight uh, uh, thing on it. So what I do is um, on the pipe, and I was using uh, oh, about this diameter here, which is I think a half inch, yeah, it's half inch. So I'd, I, I would use like a half inch pipe, whatever you do. But um, in the pipe, that rod goes down the center, and then I put in three screws. So like one here, one there, one there, you know, evenly around, um, down about where, oh, about two inches down. And what happens is when those go in, if you're using a half inch pipe, uh, they will actually hit that threaded rod and go on to the side of it. Um, and with three of them there, it I, I never had one of them come loose. They always uh, stayed together, even again through really crazy violent, um, well, I don't know if violence is the right word, but extremely active uh, chimney sweep dancing. So um, anyway, that's, I think, um, that should give you enough that you could actually build your own um, and have chimney sweeps who can do all of the uh, um, active um, uh, chimney sweep craziness uh, that you want in that scene. So hope that you find that helpful. Bye.